Hi there, everybody, and welcome to MATCUT for the month of January 2022. My name is Mr. Edward John C. Padilla, and I will be your lecturer for general education English. Now, let's begin with question number one. Now, let me read. The president, together with his advisors, blank currently inside the waiting area of the hotel. Now, my dear friends, you need to remember this. Whenever you would see the phrases together with, as well as, and along with, in between two nouns, the verb must agree with the first noun. And in this case, the first noun is the precedent, and the precedent is singular. Therefore, the verb must also be singular. So, in this particular question, the correct answer is letter A, is. Now, my dear friends, in the next few questions, we need to read a poem first. Now, let me read that poem for you. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry, I could not travel both. And be one traveler, long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could, to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though, as for that the passing there had warned them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood and I. I took the one less traveled by. And that has made all the difference. Now, my dear friends, I think you have read this poem way back in college. So I'm expecting that your answers would be correct. Let's try. Question number two. What is the title of the poem above? Is it A, the road less traveled? B, the road not taken? C, the traveler in the woods? Or D, two roads diverged in the woods? Now, my dear friends, sometimes... Titles of the poem would be based on the words found in the poem itself. But in this case, not really. <laughs> because my dear friends, letter D, two roads diverged in the woods is not the correct answer. Letter C, the traveler in the woods is not also the correct answer. So two top choices would have to be letter A, the road less traveled, or B, the road not taken. But I guess this question is quite easy for you because you have read this poem before. The answer for number two is, of course, letter B, the road not taken. Okay, now how about question number three? Who wrote the poem above? Is it A, Edgar Allan Poe, B, Robert Frost, C, Charles Dickens, or D, Mark Twain? Now, my dear friends, I think we have to eliminate C and D because Charles Dickens and Mark Twain are both novelists, right? So, there are only two poets in this particular bunch. We have Edgar Allan Poe and, of course, Robert Frost. But I guess, my dear friends, um, the, the poem The Road Not Taken is one of those poems that are required for us to read way back in college. So I guess you know what the answer here is, right? And the answer here is, of course, that would be Robert Frost. And just a tip, my dear friends. Um, upon reading a poem, if the poem talks about you having to decide between two things, and mga ganyan, parang you have to dis choose between two things, normally it is by Robert Frost. Like for example, another, uh, another poem of his with this kind of theme would have to be Fire and Ice. So ayan. Let's have question number four. What is the central message of the poem provided above? Is it A, life is full of challenges and we must be ready for these situations all the time? Hmm, sounds correct. Letter B, in our lives, there will always be situations when we need to make decisions. Hmm, sounds correct as well. Letter C, in our lives, we need to make bad decisions for us to learn the right things. Sounds correct as well. <laughs> How about letter D? Life is very complicated and we must always be ready to face whatever challenges we will encounter. Oh my goodness, all of these options are um, in some ways very positive, but we have to look into the poem really. So what do you think is the answer here? Um, although letter A is very appealing because it, it talks about being ready for all situations, I don't think the poem centers on that. 
So we would eliminate letter A already. Now, how about letter D? Life is very complicated. I think this is very, this is too broad. And uh, we, we, can, we can have a number of poems that would discuss this particular theme, right? So top two choices would have to be letter B and, and C, because B and C would have the word decisions, right? Decisions um, in, in, in those two options. So I have to choose, is it B or C? Now, I think uh, letter C, making bad decisions, I think in the entire poem, even though the persona um, appears to have, to have chosen the road less traveled, I don't think that was a bad decision for him, right? Because it made some kind of a difference in his life. So my dear friends, in here, the answer is letter B. Like in our lives, there will always be situations when we need to make decisions, right? So I hope you answered that correctly as well. Okay, next, number five. Grammar, once again. Neither Jonas nor his brothers blank participating in the event. Now, my dear friends, remember this. Subject verb agreement. Whenever you would see neither nor or either or, the verb agrees to the closest noun. So in this sentence, neither Jonas nor his brothers blank participating in the event. Of course, the verb is nearer to the noun brothers. And brothers is actually what? Um, is it uh, singular or plural? Of course, plural. That's why we would use a plural verb as well. So in this particular question, the correct answer is R. Neither Jonas nor his brothers are participating in the event. I hope you got that right. How about number six? These, th this time, um, it is about uh, linguistics. These sounds are produced when you hold back the air for a moment and you abruptly release the air. Is it A, fricatives, B, plosives, C, affricates, D, nasals? Well, nasal sounds are produced <laughs> using our nose, right? When we say fricatives, there must be friction in, in pronouncing or, or in producing these sounds. And when we say affricates, it is a combination of one plosive and one fricative sound. My dear friends, in this particular question, the answer is letter B, plosives. And like, for example, P, P. Huh. Like b, like t, g, and plosives, letter B. Number seven, the company's project proposal for the next season blank within the approved budget. Is it A, were, B, will, C, is, or D, are? Now, I think, my dear friends, this question is quite easy. Um, we are pertaining to the company's project proposal, which is singular. Therefore, it needs a singular verb. So the answer here in number seven is, of course, letter C, is. Okay. okay, let's now have question number eight. The efforts of the local government to eradicate all threats of the coronavirus blank are being praised by the IATF. Is it A, altogether two words, B, together all, C, altogether one word, or D, altogether wrong spelling. <laughs> now, my dear friends, I think immediately we can eliminate options B and D already. And our two top choices would have to be A and C. Now, um, for a longer explanation on how to answer this question, you may visit our official Met Review Center YouTube channel. And you would find in there some helpful videos. Um, to help you pass the board exam for teachers. Pero simply, mga kaibigan, ngayon sa ating CUT, ipapaliwan ko yung pinakamadaling proseso. Well, my dear friends, we must substitute the Tagalog definitions of these two. Now, letter A, altogether, two words, it means sama-sama. On the other hand, yung altogether na one word, it means sa kabuuan. So you would just have to substitute those Tagalog terms to the blank we have in the question. And in the question, yung efforts ba of the local government ay sama-sama or sa kabuuan? And clearly, my dear friends, in this case, sa kabuuan. Therefore, the answer for number eight is letter C, all together. Oh, ayan. Mm -hmm. So ayan, sama-sama. Um, two words all together. Sa kabuuan, one word all together. So I hope you got it. 
Next, number nine, my brother is not at all confident in showing his body. Because of this, he, he always wears blank clothing. Is it A, loose? Is it B, lost? Is it C, loose? Or D, loses? Now, again, my dear friends, we can immediately eliminate options B and D. And our two top choices would have to be A, loose, L-O-O-S-E, and C, loose, L-O-S-E. Now, once again, for a detailed explanation of, of, of these subjects, my dear friends, you may visit our official Met Review YouTube channel. Pero again, para sa CUT, papaliwanag ko. Loose, L-O-O-S, L-O-O-S-E is an adjective, while loose, L-O-S-E is a verb. Now, mga kaibigan, when we say loose, L-O-O-S-E adjective, it means maluwag. When we say loose, L-O-S-E verb, it means natalo o nawala. Now, let's go back to our question. My brother is not at all confident in showing his body. Because of this, he always wears blank clothing. Now, what do we need to supply on our blank? An adjective or a verb? Of course, we need an adjective. O, di ba? Hindi naman nawalang clothing, kundi maluwag na clothing. Therefore, my dear friends, the answer in this question is, of course, letter A, loose, maluwag. Okay? Let's have number 10, halfway through. What do we call stories with animals as their main characters? This is quite easy. Is it A, parable, B, animal narratives, C, fable, or D, epics? Now, mga kaibigan, I don't think B is the correct answer <laughs> because we don't have such a thing. So um, we have epics, letter D. Well, epics are actually long narrative poems about heroes. So we, we would also eliminate letter D. So two top choices would have to be A, parable, and C, fable. Now, what is the difference between fable and parable? Now, remember this. When, when we say parable, these are stories from the Bible. And when we say fable, it is a story with main characters or with animals as their main characters. So clearly, in here, the answer is letter C, fable. And so again, parables are stories from the Bible and fables are stories with animals as their main characters. So ayan. How about number 11? It was stated in the Bible that we must not easily believe the blank of false prophets about the future. Is it A, prophecies, B, criticisms, C, suggestions, or D, assumptions? Now, my dear friends, this question is quite easy because the clue is actually found in the question. False prophets, prophets, prophecies. <laughs> So, di ba lang? So, clearly, my dear friends, in here, the answer is letter A, prophecies. And your clue would have to be the word prophets dun sa question mismo. Okay. Okay, let's have number 12. Every subject in the curriculum has blank own significance. Is it A, it's, B, it's, with an apostrophe, C, there, or D, it? Immediately, my dear friends, we may remove options B and D. From our choices because letter D, it, without an S, is incorrect. And it's with an apostrophe is also incorrect. Because it's with an apostrophe pertains to it is. It's with an apostrophe, once again, is a contraction of it is. Therefore, we are left with options A, it's, and C, there. Now, my dear friends, what is the correct answer here? Well, remember this. Whenever we would use the word every in a sentence, it means our subject would be singular, as proven by our verb has. Therefore, we are looking for a singular pronoun. And that would have to be letter A, it's. So for number 12, the answer is letter A. Okay, now how about number 13? Although their family and friends are against their decision, the twins still decided to live by blank in the province. This is quite easy. 
Is it A, themselves, B, ourselves, C, itself, or D, yourself? Yourself is wrong, obviously, my dear friends. Letter C, itself is also wrong because the twins are not objects. And B is also wrong because we are not part of the twins. Therefore, we are left with the correct answer, letter A, themselves. So once again, in number 13, the answer is letter A, themselves. Okay, let's have number 14. The empty box blank on the table the whole afternoon yesterday. Is it A, was left, B, was leaving, C, were left, or D, were leaving? Now, my dear friends, obviously B and D are not correct answers, so we would eliminate them from, from our options and focus on letter A and letter C. But remember, box is our subject, and box is singular. Therefore, we need a singular verb. Therefore, the answer in number 14 is letter A, was left. Okay, let's have number 15. The grab driver dropped her blank 53rd Avenue. Is it A in, B on, C at, D over? Now, my dear friends, once again, if you want a detailed explanation on this, you may, you may search for the video um, and visit our Met Review Center YouTube channel. But uh, in this case, I'm just going to explain it briefly. Remember this. Whenever we would have the words avenue, boulevard, or streets, again, avenues, boulevards, and streets, automatic, the preposition to be used would have to be on. So on. Again, avenues, boulevards, streets, on. And since in this question, the grab driver dropped her, Blank 53rd Avenue, therefore, the answer is on. Okay, next, number 16. Paul submitted a first-rate output. The capitalized word means blank. Is it A, excellent, B, ordinary, C, mediocre, or D, pedestrian? Even without consulting the dictionary, I, I think you can answer this correctly. Why? Because the words pedestrian, mediocre, and ordinary are almost the same things. Okay, so the only different word among the options would have to be excellent. And when we say first rate, first, number one, top, it means excellent. So therefore, my dear friends, in here, the answer is letter A, excellent. Okay, so number... 17. Did the doctor blank his diagnosis on the patient that was released yesterday? Is it A, complete, B, completing, C, completed, or D, completes? Now, in this question, you have to remember this. Whenever we would use the helping verbs do, does, did, the main verbs must always be in the base form. Again, whenever we would use the helping verbs do, does, did, the main verbs must always be on its base form. And the base form of complete is complete. So it means, my dear friends, in here, the answer is letter A, complete. Okay, next, number 18. The tragic car accident happened blank Rojas Boulevard. I think I was able to explain this a while ago. Remember, what, do, what preposition do we use whenever we would have boulevard, streets, and avenues? Of course, it's on. Therefore, the answer in this question is letter A, on. Okay, let's have number 19. Let's read the paragraph below. It is very common in the Filipino households in Manila to temporarily accommodate relatives from the province who have important matters to accomplish in the city. In return, these relatives will help in household chores. Okay, let's now read the question. The scenario makes the relationship of the host, family, and the guest relatives as blank. Well, I, I guess, my dear friends, in this question, the answer is very obvious. It is not dependency because even though the host family would give some favor to the guest relatives, 
the relatives are doing something in return. Therefore, if you're doing something in return, in exchange of the favors given to you, the relationship is reciprocal. Letter C. And okay. And of course, last number, according to the analytics released by the social media app TikTok, most of their users are born blank the year 2000. Is it A in, B at, C on, or D along? Along is wrong, of course. It is not it, along must not be considered as one of the possible answers. Now, what could be the answer here? Well, remember this, my dear friends. Whenever we pertain to years, months, there it, we, we would use in. Again, whenever we would pertain to years and months, in. For example, I was born in the year 2000. I was born in the month of September. So, Mr. Padilla, when do we use on? Well, we use on for complete dates. For example, I was born on January 2, 1982. Now, Mr. Padilla, how about at? We use at if we mention the exact time. For example, I was born at exactly 6 p.m. But in this case, only the year was mentioned. That's, that is why the answer is letter A in. So, my dear friends, that's it. I hope that you were able to do well in this particular exam. And I'm wishing that you would pass the board exam for teachers. Actually, not just pass, but top the board exam for teachers. And in the meantime, rest assured that Mr. Padilla will be praying for everybody. Keep safe. And God bless us all. Goodbye, everybody.